Hi guys. Happy day, night, afternoon, early morning, whatever, wherever you're at. And um, I wanted to come in and tell you what guys what I'm currently reading. Kind of like just the readers what I've recently read series. Um, because he doesn't do TVRs, he doesn't. I think no, he doesn't do wrap ups anymore. Um, so I decided not to do like a monthly thing because I do work full time and I do have um, other things in my life that uh, take up a lot of my time. Um, but I read every second that I can, so I wanted to show you a book that I'm that I'm currently reading and then the books that I want to get to that are catching my eye right now that I want to get to soon. Soon meaning like, um, the next one to two, maybe three months. And you guys know when I said the soon, you, when I said the soon, you Five Sauce fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and maybe Justin Beer fans. No, Fatty. Sorry, my cat's behind me, but behind my phone. I don't want her to sniff or knock over my phone okay the first book that I have that I want to talk about is Long Way Home sorry Long Way Home by Katie McGarry I've been a big fan of Katie McGarry since ever since um, I read Pushing the Limits at my local library this is the spin-off book her thunder the Conclusion to her Thunder Road trilogy. I just finished Walk the Edge about a week ago, I think. And for some reason, I missed the train and I never got um, Long Way Home as um, a hardback, which is weird because her usually takes about one year that the book has been out that you switch from, the, that store switch from um, hardback and then the paperback comes out. Don't bite that. Or the, and then they have both on sale. But I bought this online. I think it's... I bought it off of, I think, bnn.com. And they only had paperback, which, which was weird. And speaking of Katie McGarry, um, I have Breaking the Rules, which I have never seen in physical copy before. So I never was able to um, buy it until... I finally got my hands on it on Amazon, I think. Um, this is the fifth book. It says, it says sequel to the best-selling Pushing the Limits, but that's the, they're all companion books. So this is the actual actual sequel sequel following Pushing the Limits characters Noah and Echo. Um, but the one that came out right after um, Pushing Limits was Dare You To, following Ryan and uh, Becca, I think is her name. And then I have Pushing Limits and Breaking the Rules and Long Way Home all in paperback. But I have all everything else of Katie McGarry's books in um, uh, hardback, which is weird just weird. I wish I had everything matching, but I don't. Oh well. Last but not least, um, Katie McGarry book is Say You'll Remember Me. It is this one, and it's, it reminds me a lot, because I, I, I've started reading this a little bit before I, uh, ever read, actually, um, ever read, uh, what's the first book in that trilogy? Um, let me see if I can find it on my bookshelf real quick. Come, 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 where? Where is it? Oh, nowhere here. Okay. I was about to say, but walk the edge. But I started reading this a little bit before, um, uh, nowhere but here, that, tr that trilogy. Separate from the Pushing the Limit series. And this reminds me a lot of, um, of what I've read, a lot of, um, Walk the Edge with, uh, Razor and, um, Brianna. Mm -hmm. And now on to the books that are not Katie McGarry related that I want to talk about. Um, 
uh, The Magic Misfits second story. Um, yeah, that's all it's called is the second story. This follows um, a girl named Layla that is in the first book that is the girl oh, right here that like puts herself in strict jackets and gets herself out of them. She's a scape artist um, and she is adopted in this book by Mr. and Mr. Vernon. A lot like Nailbutcher Harris and his husband. Um, but yeah, just a gang of a gang of magicians, you know. Um, it's been about a year or two since I read the first book, but I have it in Audible as well, so I can read them back to back, and they're about ten hours combined, which is awesome because I feel like I can read this three times in one day. <laughs> um, next is just a few random ones that I that have caught my eye that I haven't been either currently reading or have or that I haven't been um reading and put down you know Bonnie Pipkin's aftercare instructions about an um about an abortion let's just say it about an abortion um two teens decide to get the abortion and um the guy seems to be fine with it and the girl has to um you know, deal with it, cope with it, and really has to remember how to take care of herself emotionally, physically, mentally, all of those, all of the above, and they give her aftercare instructions for her own, for her body, but they also, she has to find out aftercare instructions for, I guess, the rest of her life because of what she decided to do. And I have Furthermore by Tahara Muffy about a girl who um, is like a droplet of, what is the first thing it says? Oh my gosh guys, and it's signed too. Look at it, it's signed. That's one of two or three Tahara Muffy books I have signed. Okay, I'm going to read you the first. I'm trying to find like her description so I can kind of tell you. Hmm. Of when she was like born and oh, let's see. Oh, okay. Once upon a time a girl was born. One day they realized that their baby, the one they'd named Alice, had no pigment at all. Her hair and skin were white as milk, her heart and soul as soft as silk, her eyes alone had been spared a spot of color, only just clinging to the faintest shade of honey. So she's like the black sheep in a very colorful world. So she's a... Yeah, she's just... Like a little white po a little white dot in the midst of a very, very pigmented world, which and magical I'm assuming. Magical as well. And then there's a book that on my adventures with my friend Danny, we uh we are weirdos. We go to Walmart at like insane hours of the night. Like nine thirty to ten thirty to eleven thirty and we always hit up the books because we're book re big readers. What You Hide by Natalie Richards I found. And I was about to give up on Natalie Richards because of like her covers never pulled me in. And I would try to read it and I would never get it through. But this one sounds weird and suspenseful and thriller. And I am going to like it. And lastly... What I want to talk about is the book that I am reading. It is... Sorry, the, the, the desk jacket's up there. People Kill People 
by um, Ellen Hopkins, um, which is in verse, obviously, as Ellen Hopkins does. But um, this book is about a follows a nine millimeter gun, and this is perspe perspectives of everyone that has their hands on that gun. And at the end of the story, that gun is used to kill one of the characters. Whether it be suicide, whether it be murder, we don't know. So we're just following the, the perspective of the gun. Yeah, and that's it. I don't know why I smiled really creepily like that. But that's what I'm currently reading. I'm about to go read it some more. And yeah, have a good night, guys. Smile. Smile, I dare you. Please smile. You have something. Everybody has something. Even if it's the tiniest thing in the world, everybody has something to smile about, I swear. Trust me. It's been hard for me too, but you can smile. You can smile. You can do it. It's easier than frowning, guys. You know it. I know it. You know it. Alright. Have a good night, guys.